A police dog shot and killed in the line of duty is recognized today with full honors. K-9 Forest was helping police during a manhunt that lasted more than 19 hours. This was last month in Volusia County. Originally, 34-year-old Eddie Powell was accused of killing Forrest, but we learned yesterday the canine was actually killed by friendly fire. New six reporter Lauren Korn joins us now live from Volusia County. And Lauren, a funeral was held today for Forrest, and it was, really was a pretty big affair. It was absolutely beautiful. The works for this dog right here who saved lives and today law enforcement from all over Central Florida and from out of state came here to remember him. Deputies and officers from across Central Florida drove into the Volusia County Fairgrounds while bagpipes play Amazing Grace. All to remember a fallen hero, K-9 Forrest, who lost his life last month during a manhunt with an armed suspect. At the end of a career, it's the last thing you want to do to have one of your last official actions to have to come together for a solemn occasion. Sheriff Ben Johnson spoke eloquently about the canine who started working in 2015 as one of the youngest members in the unit. Forrest was out there to save deputies Ellis's life. And he did. Forrest canine handler Deputy Brandon Ellis thanked his best friend, holding back tears. He looked evil straight in the eyes and brought the fight to him. Your bravery, bravery and fearlessness allowed me and Sergeant Hughes to go home to our wives and kids. For that, we will be forever grateful. Hey, fight. A 21 gun salute and folding of the flag followed as Deputy Ellis carried out his partner's ashes. The memorial ending with helicopter flyovers and deputies with their canines forming a gauntlet as canine force passed through for the very last time. And Sheriff Johnson says that Forrest is the 33rd canine to be killed in the line of duty in the United States this year. Ginger.